Thank you guys so much for sticking with us as we took a quick break. Um, as I said before, now we're going to dive into some of the shows and series that you can expect to see on streaming apps and in theaters, but they don't yet have a specific date announced. And we're going to be looking at some, some top-notch stuff, so I'm super excited. Hopefully they come out sooner rather than later, but obviously you have to figure in other theatrical releases and competition and so forth because you know depending on who you decide to go up against that could really drastically affect the numbers and the projections so uh the studios definitely take that very seriously all right <clears throat> so some of these have no official dates they're going to be concerning netflix hulu disney plus original content theatrical releases stuff that's already in development stuff that's yet to be in development but has already been signed on so forth and so on so Deep Water, starring Ben Affleck, I believe for Hulu, has no official date yet. Indiana Jones 5 has been in production, but like we talked about on this podcast, uh, there was a, a, pretty, a pretty intense injury to Harrison Ford on set. So the film doesn't actually have an official name yet other than people calling it Indiana Jones 5. And there, it's been delayed due to that injury and some other, some other things. The Marvels. The Marvels was originally supposed to be slated for 2022. It has now been pushed to February 17th of 2023. So hopefully that doesn't change because this is a promises to be a really good one. <laughs> Transformers Rise of the Beasts uh, is supposed to come out in 2022. Does not yet have an official date. John Wick Chapter 4 is also supposed to come out this year. School of Good and Evil, I believe for Netflix starring Charlize, Ther uh, Charlize Theron, does not yet have a projected date. Uh, Chicken Run 2 and Hocus Pocus 2 do not ha yet have a date, but they are supposed to come out this year. Uh, also, Monkey Man. And then let's see here as I flip the page because there is so much info going on. Uh, Moonlight, a Moon Knight on Disney Plus looks to be really, really good original content. And it, it doesn't have an actual release date yet for the app. Uh, same thing for She-Hulk. Um, I'm really excited to see a lot of these. Miss Marvel uh, is also supposed to come out this year as a series, but does not yet have a projected date. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is slated for theaters on May 5th of 2023. It has been pushed back due to the changes in the Marvel calendar. And then <clears throat> also on the Disney Plus app, apparently they're going to have a holiday special, which is yet to have an official release date. But obviously they are saying late 2022, which which does coincide with the holiday season. Um, they are going to be putting out the Guardians of, Ga of the Galaxy holiday special on Disney Plus. Um, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is slated now for July 27th of 2023. Um, uh, so many people have been talking about this and I went back and was watching it and I'm like so excited. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what's going to be done with this because the original was so good. Like I was watching it when I was so young that I didn't even know I was watching X-Men. I just called it the people wearing blue and yellow because <laughs> I was so little. I was like three year old baby Taylor Hendricks watching that and it was so good. It was so captivating, even if I didn't fully understand what I was watching. So I don't know what to expect from this, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's it's good. Um, X-Men 97 is slated for 2023 on Disney+. Plus. They are also doing an animated series called I Am Groot, which is also slated for Disney Plus this year. And another uh, original series called Marvel Zombies is also slated for this year on Disney+, Plus. as is Spider-Man Freshman Year. And then... <coughs> We have some more new content for Disney Plus. Uh, several spinoffs, I'll say. Uh, the first one, uh, without an official date, will be starring Katherine Hahn, and it is a WandaVision spinoff called Agatha House of Harkness. This looks really, really cool. And then we also have another one for Disney Plus called Armor Wars. And it, it's its backstory is based around the idea of Tony Stark and his horror at seeing a lot of the Stark tech get into the wrong hands and be used for things that they were never intended to be used for. Um, so I think that this could have a lot of really good possibility. And then another one which looks very interesting to me is called Echo. And this is a Hawkeye spinoff which just had its first season. And it's going to be featuring a deaf Native American superhero who can echo and mimic um, all of the moves of her opponents in battle. And if you are not familiar with that backstory, um, she actually has ties to Moon Knight, 
Um, Avengers and Secret Invasions, which is also slated as its own individual series starring Samuel L. Jackson on the Disney Plus app slated for this year. Um, you can also expect to see a low-key season two on Disney Plus, a What If season two, and then a new Blade film is slated for theaters, and I believe it's possibly already in development. And um, I think Disney actually bought 20th Century Fox, and with that came Fantastic. Fantastic Four for Marvel because Marvel is also with with uh, Disney. So uh, we are expecting to see a Fantastic Four film for theaters potentially already in development. And then we're also getting a Captain America sequel slated for theaters and it's rumored to already be in development. Um, I'm I'm really excited about this but I'm also very um uh, standoffish i guess i would say because captain america is one of my all-time favorite characters in the marvel universe with the exceptions of the x-men and uh the scarlet witch because the scarlet witch is one of my also one of my favorite characters but film wise captain america all the way like i just love it um we are also slated for a deadpool 3 for theaters and then we are getting an official uh, Wakanda series for Disney Plus, but it does it's currently untitled. So it would kind of be cool if you guys would uh, comment to Disney on what you think the series should be called. Uh, I think that would be really fun. So those are some of the uh, things that you can expect uh, this year and going into a good portion of the way into 2023 as well, uh, with no official release dates yet for most of those pictures, with the, the exception of uh, the Marvels, um, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, and Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quantumania.